Hello everyone and welcome back to my Wednesday live show all about selling on social. So we are looking today at Instagram and how you can actually reset your Instagram account so that you set it up for success. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share some of the features and the strategies that I share with my paid program with you today so that I can give you a little taster into what's possible with your Instagram account. So do let me know if you're joining me live today. And if you are watching the replay, do let me know that you're watching the replay as well in the comments below. But I would love for you to, if you have any questions, to drop them underneath this video, wherever it is that you're watching. And let me um, come back to them and answer them near the end of this session. So this session is a little bit different to what I normally do because I'm actually going to be giving you like a workshop style training, which is super awesome for you. It's going to be super beneficial for you. And um, so do let me know in the comments below if you are joining me live. And also, whilst I wait for a few of you to join me, let me know if you're using Instagram at all. So Instagram, as you know, is a tool that primarily most people think is just about pictures, but it's not actually just about pictures. It has come a long way and it is a really great addition to your social media platforms if you are a business owner. Now, obviously not everybody goes onto Instagram, but if Instagram is your chosen platform of choice and you know that your audience is hanging out on Instagram, then I want to go through this with you so that you can actually see how you can reset your Instagram for success. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you and I've got a presentation we're going to work through. Just before that, for those of you who are new to my channel, please do let me know that you're new by just saying hi in the comments. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a live streaming expert and marketer and I can really help you to understand how to use the tools at your fingertips to get the visibility that you deserve. I am actually live streaming from this, from my little office in London, across the internet using Restream, and I'm live streaming on YouTube, LinkedIn, and my Facebook business page. So do, you know, if you're joining me from there, then do let me know in the chat. Don't be shy. I love to bring up some of your questions a bit later on as well. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you, and I'm going to drop myself down here so that you actually see my presentation. So I'm going to work through this. You may have some questions about what I'm sharing with you today. If you do, then drop them underneath, and I will um, get to them at the end of the presentation. Okay, so we're going to be talking about resetting your Instagram. So I'm not talking about deleting it, changing the password, all those sorts of things. I'm going to be actually showing you how you can actually reset your Instagram for success. Okay, let's get it going. I'll just check that you can see that because I'm not 100% sure that that's showing as it should be. So let me have a little look. Okay, perfect. So we are going to be talking about what... what the, the seven different options inside of here. Just want to make sure that it is actually working. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so what is Instagram and why do you need a reset? So we're going to look at that. We're also going to look at why use Instagram, the mistakes that business owners often make. So if you're not seeing any um, strategy, any engagement or any reach with your with your Instagram efforts, then it might be because you're making one of these mistakes. Also, I'm going to talk to you about finding your pineapple. So if you know me, you know that I'm really passionate about you being an individual and your, your pineapple essence is part of that makeup. We're also going to look at the eight strategies that you can implement right now and also three actionable tips that you can do, take away and have a go at today. And we're also going to be looking at my program, which is my Facebook and Instagram stories for success program, which we have had loads and loads of success with. So I'm going to skip over the introduction so you all know who I am. If you don't, then just reach out to me and I will definitely give you um, some information. Hi, Tim. Lovely for you to join me so over on Facebook. So thanks very much for joining me. So let's have a little look at what is Instagram and why do you need to reset? So Instagram is a multi-asset social media channel. So what I mean by that is that it's not just all about the images anymore. It's about 
video and carousel posts and Instagram stories and Instagram reels and Instagram TV. So it's not just one asset that you need that you can use in there. You can use so many different things to help you attract the right clients to your account so that you can start nurturing them and then selling to them. Because our social media efforts have got to be all about raising our visibility, getting people to know what we do, and then ultimately converting them into buying customers or clients. So 71.9% of posts are still photographs on Instagram. However, if you do make up the 14.2% of posts that are video, you are going to stand out amongst that big, 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 big blur of photos. If you put a video on, it's really going to make you stand out. 13.9% of posts are carousel posts. So you can actually use a photo and a video in your carousel. So that's something that you might want to have a little look at as well. And the average Instagram post contains 10.7 hashtags. And hashtags are super important when it comes to actually building your visibility across the brand. So what is it? So keyword search is also a new feature that has come into Instagram. So a bit like Google, when you type in a couple of words to make a um, sentence, it actually works inside of Instagram as well. So actually having keyword rich content is really key to getting your posts seen by different people. 71% of businesses in the US claim to be on Instagram. So it's a really good platform for you as a business owner. And 500 million Instagram accounts use stories every day. And if you know me, you know that I am very passionate about using stories in my day to day social media marketing, because they are such an easy way of you bringing your business and your brand and your personality to life inside of not only Instagram, but Facebook, LinkedIn, and even Twitter now. So and even store um, YouTube as well. So 200 million users check out at least one business account per day. Is that going to be your account? I wonder. Okay, so if your Instagram Instagram, Instagram. So why do we need a reset? Hi, Aviva. It's nice for you to meet to join us as well today. We're going to, to look at why you need to reset your Instagram account today, because it's really, really super important that you do have an idea of where you are at with your Instagram and where you want to take your Instagram in relation to your social media goals and your business goals. So if your Instagram account isn't set up correctly, you may actually be missing out on really valuable leads. If people come to your Instagram account and then don't have anywhere to go to, then you're going to you're going to lose them and they're not going to be able to um, move into your sales funnel and that nurturing process that's so important when you want to convert followers into paying clients. If your account is not a business or a creator account, you're also missing out on valuable data. So what I'm talking about that is that if you just have it as a profile, then you're not going to be getting any insights on which posts are working, what hashtags are working, um, whether you're using all of the different features and whether that's working for you. And if your funnel isn't set up correctly, then like I said at the beginning, you're going to miss out on those valuable leads that are there ready for the taking. So part of the Instagram reset, is actually you've got to reset your mindset about the whole Instagram process. It's not about um, you being present. It's actually about who it is that you want to reach. And 100% of your Instagram posts should be made up of features around your future clients or your future purchases. So, you know, I'm a service provider. I don't sell products as such. So for me, it, it would be clients who I attract. However, if you sell products, so, you know, you, you might be selling um, makeup or um, a deliverable product that you can actually, people can actually use, then, of course, it's all about that. And it's all about you highlighting the benefits of them actually getting that product or working with you rather than just all about you, you, you. So on Instagram, what we want to do is we want to inspire our followers. And we also want to educate our followers as well. We also want to encourage them. We want to connect with them. And we want to develop new opportunities in our Instagram. Overall, with the mindset that we want to start to sell. We're not on Instagram as a social tool, which is the type of user who shares pictures of their lunch, maybe, um, or, you know, talks about what's happened at the weekend with their family. 
we can do that in small snippets, but we can't make up our whole Instagram account around what we do. We have to make it around what you do, what your clients do, what the people who you want to sell do. So that's super important. And if you get that mindset right, then when you do go to actually post on Instagram, it will flow so much easier. Just wanted to say hello to Helen. She's just joined us on LinkedIn as well. So hi, Helen. Nice of you to join us here. Any questions, drop them in the comments. I will get to them at the end of this. I'm not going to make it too long, but I really want to show you how you can really utilize Instagram as a business tool um, so that you can actually start to really grow your following. So the nine different areas of Instagram that I want to talk to you about today um, all fall into that multi-asset area that I spoke about at the beginning. So I would love to know if you knew that there were nine different places that you could actually reach your future clients or purchasers in Instagram. So let me know in the comments below how many different ways do you use Instagram whilst I give this, this information to you. So Instagram feed is the place where you normally post your square picture. So that's like what makes up the news feed. That's what we would call your nine square strategy. So when somebody comes to your Instagram account, the first thing they see usually is like your profile and all that stuff. And then the nine squares. That's one place that we can start to use. The second place is Instagram stories. Now, these are an amazing opportunity. I mean, I could actually do a story whilst I'm live in my Instagram account right now and post it. And it's like this spontaneous way of bringing people into your life and what you're doing and what your business does. Um, and the beauty of it is that it only lasts for 24 hours. So you can be really, you can go really wild and you can really bring the quirkiness of your brand or your business into Instagram without worrying that it's going to be sitting on your um, feed and people are going to be like looking at it thinking, what, what is that all about? You know, the next place is Instagram TV. So IGTV is Instagram's own version of YouTube. And it's an amazing feature that is very underused. So it is linked to Instagram Live now. So what happens is that I'm live today across multiple channels, unfortunately not directly into Instagram at the moment because they, they don't allow you to use like third party tools. So if I wanted to live stream this into Instagram, I would have to do it from my mobile or my iPad. But Instagram Live is a great way of you reaching your clients and giving them lots of value. And you can actually go live on your mobile phone or your iPad or your tablet and actually save that into your Instagram TV so that people can actually then re-consume it over and over again, which is an awesome way, a bit like YouTube really, um, you know, you've got that option. So the fourth way is Instagram Reels. This is a 15 to 30 second video update, similar to TikTok. Reels is taking Instagram by storm at the moment. So um, we are seeing a lot of different features with Reels, including shopping. So that's something that you, you might want to be mindful of if you sell a product. Instagram Guides is a new feature that Instagram have brought in, which is, I think, quite underused. And it's a way of you creating like a PDF document. So say like you go to a museum and you get given a flyer. So you might get given a little leaflet and it has all like it has a map on it, maybe, and a few highlights of the things that you can see inside that museum. Instagram guides are exactly the same thing, but for your Instagram account, you can pull your posts, you can pull your products, and you can even pull like posts from location. So you might have gone for your favorite um, Thai, Thai dinner, or you might own a cafe and you've got lots of really great pictures of some of the customers that have been in with their teapots and things. You can put that all in there. It's awesome. Then, of course, you've got Instagram shopping. So you can actually ham shopping in stories, in posts, in reels and in Instagram TV. And you also have your own place on Instagram that you can actually utilize, like your own shop right inside of Instagram. Then you've also got Instagram direct messaging. So that's a really good place to actually start to nurture your start to nurture your followers. I always reach out to my new followers just to say hi um, and to just let them know that I'm always there if they have a question that immediately gives us that connection between somebody who's just following you and somebody who you're really interested in. And then, of course, you've got the Explore tab, which is where the hashtags will help you to place your posts. So really, lots of different places in Instagram that you can actually show up and be present 
without too much effort. So I just wanted to say hello to Yonette over on YouTube. So hi, thanks for joining me. Any questions, drop them in. I will answer them all at the end of this presentation. So I first of all want to go through some of the mistakes that we make when we are posting to Instagram. Uh, before I go over some of the actionable, actionable things you can take away from this training um, and go and off and do today. So here's some of the mistakes that some of my clients have come to me with before they started my program. They posted randomly and they, they weren't consistent. So they would post on a Monday and then they wouldn't do anything for another week. And then they were wondering why they weren't getting any engagement or any followers or any any sort of lead from their effort. So posting randomly and not consistently will not make your Instagram marketing work for you. You do have to post often and be consistent. And I'm going to talk to you about the different ways you can show up on Instagram in just a moment. You only post to your Instagram feed and you don't use all the other tools available. So I'm really, really passionate about helping you use all of the tools at your fingertips to make the efforts that you make on social work for you because we're all on social as business owners if you're watching this that's who I presume you are you would want to that all the effort that you put into your social media marketing you want it to to give you a return otherwise you know it's it's no point being there so really do utilize all of that and that comes down to not having a plan. So if you don't have a social media plan or a strategy which is related to your business plan and strategy and outcomes, then you're pretty much sort of like posting into the abyss. It's not really meaning anything. So having a really rock solid strategy is super important when it comes to Instagram and any marketing that you do for your business. The next one is that your bio is not updated with the latest information about what it is that you do or what you offer. So if you think about when people go to your Instagram, they look at your picture and then they can click at your click your bio and they go to your um, profile. And if it's not updated, if you haven't changed it for like yonks and the website link is not optimized and when they click on that, it doesn't do anything or it only goes to your home page of your website and that doesn't tell them anything, then you're going to be um, missing out on some really awesome leads that you could be capturing. Another one for all of you guys out there, that sell deliverable products. So when I mean by deliverable products is that somebody can order the product and they actually have it delivered to their home. So this can be so many different people, but what this doesn't include is people that sell digital products. So if you sell a course or you sell like a digital product or a service, then you can't create an Instagram shop. But if you do sell a deliverable product, then Instagram shopping is amazing and if you haven't got this set up you're missing out on so many opportunities to actually sell on your Instagram. So another mistake people make is that they don't post images and they're not varying their content. So like they put a, they put a picture up, it might be blurry, it might be a little bit dark, it's not really clean and crisp and you're not using the video opportunities or the stories or the reels and things like that. One of the biggest mistakes I think people make is that they're not using the direct messaging inside of Instagram very efficiently. So they're not aware that there is so much power in that in that messaging area. You can actually do video calls in there. You can actually do audio calls in there and you can do written calls. So whichever way you like to connect with people, you can actually do it in there. And you can put links into Messenger inside of Instagram, which means that when you do have a conversation with somebody, you can actually take them from inside Messenger to where you want them to go. Huh. So another big mistake is thinking that you don't have to engage with your followers, that the only thing you need to do is to post and then walk away. Uh -uh. That's the biggest mistake I think many, many people make. You should be engaging with your followers before you even start posting on that day so that Instagram gets a feel for what you're what you're all about. It wants to see that you're engaging with your followers. It wants to see that you're looking at other people's content as well. And the final mistake is that you're not using the all of the assets available, those ones that I've just mentioned um, previously. Okay, so as you can see, you can see some pink pineapples on the screen. So I want to talk to you about finding your pineapples. And this is really going to help you to stand out across your social. 
So what makes you different from anyone else? So that's what your pineapples are. So mine are, I'm a little bit quirky, my ability to explain the system simply, my energy, my knowledge of social media and digital marketing, and my confidence. That's my quirkiness. I'm quite happy to give anything a go so that I can actually um, stand out from other people. Now, I'm not talking about like um, dancing on the reels and things like that. What I'm talking about is actually identifying yourself as different from somebody else who does the same. So Jason's just joined me. He said pineapples. Yeah. So Imagine that you go to a grocery store and you're in the fruit aisle and you see the pineapples. Same as like the oranges and the apples. They, you know that that's a pineapple, don't you? But when you get closer, each individual pineapple is different. And that's what makes you different. That's your pineapple essence. So I could stand three or four different personal trainers in front of me. They could all say that they're a personal trainer. But each one of those personal trainers will have their unique pineapple essence that will deliver something different to the other. So one might concentrate on women over 50. Someone else might concentrate on men over 50. Someone else might concentrate on people who have had an injury. You see how the pineapples start to show themselves. And that's what you need to do to make yourself unique on Instagram. So you need to identify those five areas of your business that make you unique? What sets you apart from someone else who does what you do? And as an example, I'm going to use a health and wellness coach since I've just spoken about a personal trainer. So this little diagram here, this infographic as such, um, will go through that with you. Hi girls, nice for you to join us as well. What do you do and what do you sell? So I am on this example, a health and wellness coach. So what are your pineapples? I love to plan healthy food. I've got 20 years of personal training experience. I've been a weight, I've been on a weight loss journey myself. I like to train in the outdoors rather than in a gym. And I like to work with groups of women rather than individuals. So that's my uniqueness. Now, who are my audience? So my audience is people who have tried all of the off-the-shelf diets before, women who are aged between 30 and 60. Busy mums with kids in that age range, women who need motivating and postnatal women's groups. So as you can see, I've identified this clear plan if I was a health and wellness coach. And what you do with that is that you then start talking about that individually inside your Instagram. So why don't you have a little think about your five pineapples and let me know what they are in the comments below. So Ria's just said her five pineapples is fitness, personal training, mainly yoga and Pilates. Yeah, so break that down even more. What makes you different from another Pilates teacher who's teaching online? What makes you different from any other personal trainer? Have a good go, have a little go. Think about that whilst we're going through this presentation and maybe let me know in the comments what your five pineapple, pineapple um, uniqueness is. Are. Okay, so I want to look at um, how you can actually reset your Instagram. And these are the eight ways that you can actually start to action things right now. So Ria just says, what do you mean by pineapples? Yeah, so I'm going to answer the questions, but pineapples is like what makes you unique within your own business. So up level your account to a creator or a business account so that you can obtain that all important data. So that's the insights of how well your um, content is working, who's looked at your account, who's followed you, who's unfollowed you, who's been engaging with you and how far your posts are, uh, are actually going. That's all about the information that you can get from within Instagram if you are a creator or a business account. And that's super important to look at that every month to see how your account has been doing. The next one is in order for you to make that re reset happen, you do need to work on those five pineapple uniqueness essences. So what makes you unique and identify those five core areas because I'm gonna show you how you can use those in a minute. Reset includes optimizing your account profile. So inside of your account profile, where you've got your name and your bio, you can add your uniqueness in there so that when people go to your profile, they can see, oh, okay. So if you if you take mine for an example, 
Anita's a tech queen. She knows how to do all the tech. So that's useful. She's an Instagram and Facebook marketing coach. That's useful. She's a live streaming coach. That's useful. So you see how my those first three pineapples are unique to me. And then, of course, I could have my um, confidence and, and quirkiness. And I could also have the, the fact that I race BMX bikes. So that's something different. That's like to show people that I'm I'm healthy and I understand that you need to take a break from business and work at the same time. So another thing that you need to do is not having the correct contact information displayed. So really have a little look at that. Go into your Instagram account and have a look to make sure that the email address that's in there is correct. Are the, um, if, the if you've got a phone number, is that correct as well? That's really super important. So recently, Setting your bio will allow you and your profile visitors to really um, learn a little bit more about you. And remember, there's 200 million users checking out your Instagram account at any one time in the day. So you don't want to miss out on all those people looking. So have a little look at your bio and see if you can do that. The next part of your bio is your website link. So this is the one of probably the biggest important element, especially if you don't sell products and you haven't got Instagram shopping. So if you're a service provider and you sell services, uh, maybe programs, online courses, pro, you know, things like that, what I do basically, the stuff that I sell, you need to have the option inside of your Instagram bio link to take people to different places. So if you were to go to my Instagram account, which is at underscore Anita underscore Wong, and you click my bio link, you'll see that there is a link to my live, which is what, what we're on today. You'll see that there's a link to my course platform. You'll see that there's a link to my Facebook group. Uh, you'll see there's a link to my website homepage. So there's all sorts of different things in there. And that helps my user follow through a journey so that ultimately they become my client. Okay, so that's super important. Next one is to identify your five unique pineapples and plan your social media posts according to those pineapples and your goals. Um, Gal just said they're back to pineapples. <laughs> yeah, we're back to pineapples. And then use all of the nine elements of Instagram to bump up your organic reach and to attract and do your engagement. Okay, so I'm going to give you three actionable strategies to take away from today. I've given you quite a lot already, but I want to give you these three actionable strategies. Um, Ria said, no website still. Um, I'll be fixed. Okay, so you don't need a website to um, take people from places on Instagram. For instance, one of the links that I have in my Instagram is for people to make a booking. So you can have a discovery call with me. Um, one of the links actually goes directly to a booking where you can have a paid session with me. So you get how the links don't, you know, your website is not the only place that you can take somebody. Um, one of the links on mine goes to my free download. So all those sorts of things that you can instigate. So the three actionable strategies that you can do today to help you to start growing. The first one is to post about your five unique, unique pineapple elements once a day. Now, I'm not saying that you have to post every day to your Instagram account because I would rather you post high value content than content every day just for the sake of it, because that doesn't work either. You want to post content that's really, really super engaging and gives a lot of value to your audience so that they get to learn about you. They get to know you. They, they get to like you, you know, the no like, how trust thing. Now, the reason I put one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and it keeps going is because when you post about your unique elements every day, but on a separate day, you'll see that you never post about the same thing day in, day out. So one day you could post about healthy eating. The next day you could post about exercise. Do you get do you get how I um, I'm, I'm where I'm coming from this? The second strategy that you can take away from today is to actually think about the content of your post. So yes, we do need to have a good high quality photograph. Yes, we do need to have a video which has audio and visuals. But we also need to have a description that goes along with those items so that Instagram can actually see what your picture or your video is about. 
So that's super, super important. And that's where the keyword search comes in, because if you've got really good content in your written area, then you're going to get really good keyword reach, because when people start to type in that stuff, they're actually going to start to pull your post up over someone who hasn't got very much written. So think about it like when you are looking through your newsfeed, you want something to stop the scroll. So that's going to be your video or your image. It's got to be high quality. It's got to be really clear. It's got to be something that attracts people. Then you want to write about why is you're sharing that. So what, what are you going to highlight that you can then tell them about the solution of? So pick something. Maybe it's like if, um, say like if it was a weight loss coach, you could talk about the pain point being the, the snacking in the evening. So you would talk about how they would like, you might have a picture of someone going into the, into the fridge in the evening with their nighty on. And then you could talk about the solution about how you can reframe your mindset and go and do something else rather than going in the fridge. And then the call to action would be, do you experience that? Are you, are you on your weight loss journey? And are you finding that in the evenings you, you tend to snack? Ask them to give you a comment, a bit like what I'm doing now in this live. I'm asking you to talk to me in the comments so that I can actually engage with you. So this could be an emoji. It could be um, you could add a link, um, like a click my link in my bio, leave a comment. Anything like that would really work. And then what I've done here is I've given you an example of how you can convert that description into your stories or your reels. So here. I've spoken about um, what are the three things that stick out for you that you learned at school. So this might be like um, a teacher or a mindset coach talking about something in her newsfeed about mindset. So she's said all of these points in her description and now she wants to create a story around that so that she's reaching a different audience. So the first story would be what three things did you learn as a child that are still useful today. So you could perhaps do a picture of a child or you could do a little video or you could actually even do a video of you asking that question. Then the second um, story that you upload is what you share yours. What were your three things? Then the, the third story is asking your audience to share theirs with you by dropping a message in the messenger because in stories, there's always a little window for you. And then the final one, which would be the call to action one, was like, you know, go to my bio and check out my latest blog post or, um, you know, click the link in my bio to find out more information. So now I want to, to talk to you about how you can reset and grow your Instagram um, on my course. And I'm going to whiz through this so that I can get to any of the questions that we've got in here. So let's just have a little look. So I want you to be able to grow in confidence and feel empowered about what you're doing on Instagram, because if you don't feel confident using Instagram and you don't feel like you're in control, you wouldn't be able to attract your dream following and convert them into paying clients. And I want you to be able to do that because I want your efforts on Instagram to really work. So my Instagram and Facebook business stories course, it includes really easy to follow video tutorials, a bit like this one, but you actually see how to do things and it makes your content transform from boring to spectacular because you're going to learn how to use all of the tools at your fingertips so this course is for anyone who wants to make sales from instagram and facebook plus it's for business owners who want to make an impact on their followers so remember at the beginning i said it wasn't about you it was about you making an impact on your followers so that they get value from you that's the most important thing because when your followers get value from you they're going to want to come back for more so instagram for success is made up of quite a few modules but the beauty of it is that you'll learn about everything you need around instagram but not only instagram i've also thrown in facebook as well because Facebook and Instagram are together as a, as a company, but you can also utilize both the Instagram features and the Facebook features using one tool. So you'll get to learn how to reset your Facebook at the same time as your Instagram. Then we look at your content strategy. So this is where we look at your pineapples. We find out exactly what it is you wanna do. Do you wanna sell? 
Do you want to actually get people buying from you? We work through that. We look at your content strategy. We also look at how you identify your social media goals. We look at the amazing free content in there. We've actually given you content that you don't have to write yourself. You just alter it to fit your needs. And we look at why you should post to your Instagram feed, um, how you can do your content, how you can make it look wonderful. So when people do come to your account, they want to actually take part in it. We look at that all important hashtag strategy because that is super important. It's like if you don't put anything in your posts that will help people find it, it's like you're a star in the sky amongst all the other stars. Nothing is standing out. But if you put that twinkle, which is the hashtags, that's going to help you stand out. That's going to make the pineapple stand out. So you're going to discover how to use your hashtags properly so that you really get seen in that discovery area, in that explore area. Then we come to the Instagram stories and we learn everything there is to know about creating stories. And that includes video, 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 video. People love to see you as you. And we look at Facebook stories. Facebook has an amazing feature that is so underused. It is unbelievable. You can actually take people from your Facebook business stories directly to your page where you want them to buy from right inside the app without spending a penny. We're also going to look at Instagram Live. And this month, Instagram is releasing a new feature where you can have four people on the live. So they're introducing Instagram Live rooms, which means that you can have a real solid conversation, which will be awesome. So maybe, Tim, if you want to join me inside an Instagram room at some point, we can host a live together on there. And maybe you can get some of the other ones in the audience to come on as well. And we can have a little conversation about Instagram live inside an Instagram room. How about that? That would be so cool. We need to look at Instagram Reels and how we can incorporate that into our marketing strategy without having to dance with funny things on our heads. Because I don't want to dance on my business account. You might think that that's okay and that's perfectly fine if that fits in with your um, structure. But we're also going to look at how you can use Reels as a proper business tool. 30 seconds to make an impact. Whoa, amazing. We're going to look at guides and we're going to look at how you can break them down and make those digital flyers work for you so that you do start to attract the right types of clients. As a bonus, we are going to be looking at how you can connect your Facebook and Instagram accounts together so that you actually create a strategy that saves you time. Time is of the essence. When you're a business owner, time is everything. If you've got time, get this done quickly, but solidly with a proper strategy, then you've got time to do other stuff. We also look at all the time-saving apps that you can use to help you do that. So we look at Mojo, we look at Canva, we look at Wave, we look at Video Shop, we look at all the Instagram camera features that you can actually use, which will save you a lot of time and energy. And then we really work on our Instagram and Facebook strategy. We really knuckle down into different ways that you can use all of the tools that you're taught to make those sales because ultimately we want to we want to sell we want to make money we don't want to be doing this for nothing so i've jam packed this course with all the pineapple goodness you can ever think of and it is amazing i paid a energetic content writer to create 90 days of content according to the strategy that i wanted and it's worth well over £3,000. And every one of them is adaptable to your business plan. So what you do is adaptable. We have weekly happy hour calls. So every week on a Thursday at 1pm GMT, you have me to ask questions. We spend about an hour going through any questions, any issues, any problems. We talk about strategy. We talk about how to. We talk about anything to do with getting you more seen and your selling opportunities on social. We also plan our planner. So we have to work out exactly when you're going to post, what you're going to post. And we do that um, with a downloadable planner and you can have that as often as you want. Then every 12 weeks, I run an accountability pod. So what this does is it helps you as a business owner who is learning how to use Instagram and Facebook as a marketing tool to actually show up and be present. So it makes you accountable. And that's super, super, super important. I do have a private Facebook group for you to, to do this on, but the course is hosted on my Thinkific account where you have the opportunity to 
write a question next to the video that we're talking about. We have a community inside the Facebook group and they're very supportive and everybody talks to each other and it's super, super um, great for you. So here's a couple of words that some of the members have said to me. I found it to be really enlightening. I think the way that Anita teaches is really inspirational. You're so available. But what I love about it is going into all the nooks and crannies, the stuff that you just wouldn't know about unless you got direction. So that's from Louisa Marsh, and she's an abundance life coach. And obviously, there's lots more in there. Um, but she's really finding that she can really reach her target audience. This is Aviva. Actually, she's on the call with me today. I think having the confidence to post about what I do and not feel about, you know, like people are um, being critical and that she's got over all of those stumbling blocks about being able to tell people about what it is that she does. So that's fine. And that's amazing. And she's started to grow a Facebook group since she's been on the course with me, which is absolutely amazing. Now you can get all of this. So you have access for a whole year, you have 52 weeks of calls apart from when I'm on holiday, or there's like a bank holiday or something like that. Um, and I, I would, you know, I can't really put a number on the value of it because I've put everything in and it gets updated all the time. So it's 497, you get access for 12 months, all the bonuses that I mentioned and um, all the future updates that I will update over and over again as it goes through. You can get to it with this link, which I will show you in the, um, I will pop it in underneath and we can then, um, you know, talk about those things. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put that link up on the screen for you to scribble down and have a little look at. And then I want to just see if any of you have got any questions. So drop those questions in now. I'm going to hang about for another five or 10 minutes um, and, and see if we have any questions that we can share. So I'm going to get the chat up and I'm going to bring those questions up. So Tim said that he's, in, uh, he's um, tuning in from the States, which is amazing. So hello, Tim. And I know I've said hello already, but I'm just going to say hello again. Aviva's here as well. Helen's here. Um, Yonette says, good morning from my end and good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I am in London. It is very funny, isn't it? The time zone differences between my afternoon, your morning, some people's night time and things like that. Um, Jason, yeah, pineapples are very super important in my marketing strategy. Let's see if we have anything going. Oh, thank you, Gail. Lovely presentation. I'll be back with my pineapples. Um, Maria said, yeah, so explain the pineapples a little bit more, I think. OK, so let's just pop that up. So what do you mean by pineapples? So for those of you who know me, know that I am very passionate about helping individual business owners to stand out um, from the crowd. So basically, you are able to stand out from everybody else. So I have a pineapple over there. If I plug it in now, you'll see it light up. That's my pineapple. Do you see that pineapple over there? How cool is that? So that pineapple, and you can't see it very well because it's a bit blurred, but that pineapple and that strategy helps you to really pull out your uniqueness. Um, Lisa just said, I love your pineapple strategy. Yeah, it's just like, it's a way, I suppose I could have called it an orange strategy, but I, you know, pineapples are full of zest. They're full of flair. They're, they always remind me of being somewhere really beautiful and nice. And that's what you've got to think, that, that whole mindset around like what makes you stand out from everybody else. Because it's super, super important that you believe that what you offer is needed by other people. And your uniqueness, someone will work with you over somebody else because of your uniqueness you know they are the ones like they're going to be um they're going to choose you over someone else and if you don't show that uniqueness to people then they're not going to be able to make that decision so um that's exactly why you need to do it so gal just says because of you i'm surrounded by neon <laughs> i'm gonna put that up that's so funny oh Absolutely. I like my little backdrop over there and I like my pineapple. And you must have that. You know, when you're like, if we go from, if we, we if we look at Instagram and the live feature in Instagram, you know, it's always nice to, to um, be able to like, just have a little bit of you and that quirkiness. If it's up to me, I've got, I've got a strip of lights along the bottom of the floor 
that um, I could turn on and then it would make the whole room like light up from the back at the bottom as well. So there's all sorts of different things you can do. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I want to just ask you if you have any questions and you're watching the replay of this video and you've made it right through to 45 minutes, which is absolutely awesome. And thank you all for hanging out with me today. But if you do have any questions and you've watched this replay, then please pop them in the comments because I do answer all the questions. I will go back in and I will answer them. And it's just like it's something that I do. So if you're on my YouTube channel and you're watching this, then do do put the questions in. If you're on my LinkedIn or if you're on my Facebook, ask away. And if you want to have a chat with me about increasing your visibility on Instagram, then do let me know and I will share my link with you and we can have a chat. Otherwise, I look forward to some of you maybe signing up for the program. I know some of you here are actually on the program, which is great. So you've obviously, you you, you know, you loved the content and you, you're enjoying it with me. And Gal says, I want a tick. So Gal is a teacher and she teaches children the elements of life that they don't get taught at school to help them to teach, help them to learn. So I wanted a tick. Yeah. So we, I'm going to look for a neon tick for you so that you can find one. OK, so thank you all for joining me. It's been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Do feel free to follow my channel if you're not following it already. Do ring the bell so that you get notified the next time I go live. Every Wednesday, I do my Social Selling Wednesday live show between 2 and 3 p.m. GMT. And of course, I do often put other videos up during the week. And tomorrow, you can catch me live on Instagram at 5 p.m., where I'm going to be joined by Unjanita Prevost. And we're going to be talking about going live on Instagram at 5 p.m. tomorrow, which is Thursday, the 4th of March. And also, International Women's Week, International Women's Day is next Monday, March the 8th. And I have been together with my business buddy, Carol Boskert. We have organized a whole day of female leaders talking to you about International Women's Day. So we're going to be sharing lots and lots of information, celebrating International Women's Day with you all. Now, that's going to be primarily in Clubhouse. So if you need a, an invite to Clubhouse, drop, drop it down below because I do have some invites. You do have to have an iOS device, so you do have to have a mobile phone. But I actually have my iPad with Clubhouse on. So even if you're an Android user and you have uh, an iPad, you can actually do it. Um, your net said, can you please repeat your Instagram name so I can start? Yes, of course. It's at underscore Anita. I'll put it into the chat now. underscore Wong and I'm going to put that to everywhere that it can go to I'm going to put it into YouTube I'm also going to put it over onto Facebook so that you guys can see it and that's the only place I can put it oh, I can put it into Periscope as well so let's put it in there OK, so that's how you can follow me over there. But do if you need to have a Clubhouse invite to take part in the International Women's Day on next Monday, do let me know in the comments below. I do have some going spare and I will quite happily give them to you to go into Clubhouse. Don't forget to join me on my Instagram account for my live tomorrow at 5 p.m. on Thursday, the 4th of March. And any questions whatsoever about joining my program. If you want to find out more about the program, then do let me know. And I will, of course, um, have a call with you and um, we can discuss, you know, anything you want to know about it. And of course, if you just want to sign up for it, I've popped the link in there. You can just go ahead and sign up. There are payment plans, so you can pay in full or you can pay over um, three months as well to make it easier for everyone. Okay. Like I said before, go sort those pineapples out and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.